What's up, YouTube? Um, I said we were gonna obey him this playthrough, so we'll keep with that trend. But man, this is tempting. Ooh. Into the mind control facility we go. there. I wonder if this turns on the lights. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Those doors are shut. No change in our minds now. observation protocol now the monitors jumped to life their true nature revealed each bore the number of an employee in the building Stanley's co-workers the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen and Stanley one of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? You don't know but here me. was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Console disabled. Can I click on these? They do click on. Hmm. Well, those do nothing right now. What's up here? There's a five. That's a big screen. I'll take one of these, And when please. at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Well, you want me to turn it off? Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. Had... But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, 
Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Oh it's my. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes oh, off. But what precious moments each one of them is. Okay, turn it off. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This Incorrect. This events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? <laughs> precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this <laughs> door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Stanley, that this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Well then. Apparently I made the wrong decision. I meant to click this co-workers off gone. or no or what whatever. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't know why I clicked the button I did. I was just like, oh when button. When Stanley click. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, 
All right. Now, I made it all the way back here. Let's make the proper decision now, or if we're going to obey. Um, let's hit this button here. And see what happens. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Think we beat it, guys? Yep. We did it. Yeah, we did it. That was amazing. And that, that was the Stanley Parable, guys. Yep. That was it. Nah. Okay. So what I'm pretty sure what's going on is we have to escape this because what, what he said when we blew it up the first time, he says he keeps waking us up or replaying the situation for fun. So, I'm going to end this episode here and... We'll, we're going to basically try to get out of here. I don't know how we're going to do it. The narrator seems pretty powerful. It should be fun. I really like how he talks to us and stuff. I think it's hilarious. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kesmir out.